One Championship is back again. 166 in Qatar. First event. Press conference went down. Little uh, dry of sorts initially until Mr. Brooks got on the mic and was throwing down and talking the talk. Being indeed the showman as he is, the monkey god. Let's have a look at this indeed. <laughs> uh, interesting event, should we say. It's going to be an interesting event. Main card. Main card only. That's where the, the, the majority of the talents RDR is going to defend his very last bout against Anatoly Manikin, who has taken, who has stripped him indeed from, uh, <laughs> from RDR uh, outside of the heavyweight title. So he's looking to be a three-weight champion. This is going to be interesting. He looked very well. He's lost a load of weight to get down to the uh, to the middleweights. Healthily as well with the hydration test. Uh, we don't know fully the ins and outs, but, you know, he looks well. Height difference is going to be playing a favor for RDR. As Malikin said, you haven't got no power and you're mainly a grappler slash jujitsu player. He's a freestyle wrestler and he's got knockout power. This episode is sponsored by Supreme of the UK. Click the link in the description and support the broadcast. So, I would say, Mr. Malikin has his hands full. I think he has indeed the, uh, as he says, the power and the uh, well-rounded capability to defeat uh, Rinia Derrida. But it is going to be tough. I don't think he's going to run through him, as he said, in the first round. Um... RDR has to play play the game. He's going to play the game. He's got to either close the distance or he's got to keep that real estate away so Mr. Malikin cannot separate him from consciousness. So I'm looking forward to this main event. Um, will Malikin do it and be a three-sport champion? Middle, light, and heavyweight. This is going to be a good one. It really is. And we've got another rematch. Another rematch. Tankai, who is... Now, the interim featherweight champion is going to be rematching Tankai, who destroyed his leg in that first bout. Very technical destruction of Tunley, who didn't look his best. He didn't look that like the killer he was, you know, taking out uh, Mr. Nguyen, the situation. Um, Tankai, I have indeed seen him fight, and he is a very technical uh, athletes, but I think Tankai should take this man. He should most definitely take this. The monkey guard himself, Jared Brooks, is we're going for another rematch. He's taken under passion, Joshua Pashia. For the second time, he's going to defend and he's taught the talk. Let's see if he, he can indeed walk the walk. I do think he can beat Joshua again. Um, it's an uphill battle. Very much an off-field battle. He says, Mr. Monkey Guard, that he's going to not go to a, a decision victory. He's indeed going to finish. So let's see what he can do. And obviously, he's calling out um, DJ. <laughs> DJ Demetrius Johnson. That would be a mega fight. I think, you know, DJ is doing his thing. He's proved everything he needs to prove. He's obviously still under contract. Um it would be nice to see him. It would be nice to see that that's bout. Will it take place? Mm, we shall see. We shall see. Former heavyweight champion, Arjun Buller. He's taking on Amir Al 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 Alibari. That's the right pronunciation. Apologies. This is going to be a fun one. We've got power versus uh, a wrestler. He's got a little bit of power in his hands. Um <laughs> He hasn't won since his last defeat. It's been quite some time as well. So let's see how that one unfolds. I think Arjun has the capabilities. He's getting up there in age, I, re I think. But they're, they're both heavyweights. Amir, in the press conference, was saying, look, apologies of my previous losses, etc., etc. I'm coming in. Bossing heads. I will destroy this this opponent and then I will destroy another opponent and then I want the champ. Who they've already fought before. And uh Mr. Malikin separated Amir from his consciousness. 
they've had some back and forth, you know, when they where their um trade they where they I guess uh, people within their fight camp have fought each other and they've had a little back and forth and stuff. It got a bit hairy, but you know, let's see him work his way up, man. He's, he's he needs to develop. I don't think he has as much experience as Alekin, as Malikin even. I don't think he's 13 and 0 as heavyweight. Amir, I don't think he's got double. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. I don't think he's got double uh, double victories within his um, score sheet. But yeah, I think this is going to be an interesting, interesting card. Um, the rest of the cards, uh, there's a few recognizable faces on there, but those are the fights that I'm most interested in. Let's see how it goes down. And let's see how difficult it is. It will be to view this via Sky Sports. It was challenging last time. Um, let's see if they, they uh, sort it out this time.